Hello! Today we are going to paint this Tuscany landscape from one of the best valleys in Italy from Val Dolce. And I wish you good luck with that. Further, you will see the explanation how to paint the summer sky and the corn fields and also the cypresses. That's very easy tutorial and uh, you will enjoy it. Let's paint the cypress trees and as any object they have light and shadow and the light on our painting comes from the right side we can see it from the shadows which follow to the left if the shadows are from the left then the light is from the right so it's vice versa and I'm going to use my Escoda Perla brush number 12. It doesn't matter what brush you use, but important that it's a synthetic round brush with, with very fine point. And for the light, I'm going to use yellow. And for the shadow, I'm going to use green mixed with blue. Any blue will suit. So for yellow, I can use, for example, yellow cadmium orange. And for the green part, shadow part, it can be indigo and olive green. Or instead of indigo, you can use ultramarine deep. It doesn't matter. Just blue and green. Green should be natural green because if you take phthalo green it's too bright so olive green sub green anything greenish so let's start i will zoom it in so that it's more visible what i'm doing here and i'm starting with the light because watercolor is about the light so i'm starting with yellow very thick yellow paint. So the half of the tree is yellow. I clean my brush. I take blue mixed with green. And while it is still wet, That's number one. I leave this like several millimeters because I will add the stems later on. I'm starting with the next tree. Again, yellow. Make sure that your trees are all of different size, not like one is two centimeters, another is two centimeters. Make them a bit diverse. It's important to paint the shadow part while the light part is still wet because it will bleed and as a result you get very smooth transition from, left, from the light to the shadow. That's why it's not possible like painting all the yellow parts and all the shadow parts because it will dry and it won't bleed. It won't make a very nice transition. You don't count how many of them you have. It can be more, it can be less. Some are having more light, some are having less light. And of course here, because here we have the shadows, right?
Get this fine point on my brush. If you want to follow the whole how I paint the whole landscape you can join my patreon channel because this video is also there with all the details with this kind also with the trees and with this cornfield What's important is the thick paint. You can see if the paint is not that thick, uh, the trees will be not bright and it won't be considered as something which is on top of the felt. That's the suggestion on the tree which is behind. Like something is hiding there. All the strokes come from up to a bit down. That's important because if you do vice versa, your cypress trees will look more like um, New Year's trees, right? I will make two at the same time. Hope it will work. So now I'm taking some dark color and we'll make the suggestion for stems for the trunks. I made it a bit more than the trees. Anyway, the amount is a bit more to show that there are also some trees behind. That's it. And I wish you good luck.